What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. We're not in the store today. We're in the house. This is a little bit sneak peek. We're in my office right now and we're going to be doing our house tour actually Friday this week. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. You guys have been asking. Um, but before this video gets started, make sure to comment down below because we respond to every single comment and we cash up one of you guys randomly $25 in every video. So make sure to drop that comment, like this video, and of course, subscribe to the channel. This will be the last video of the month, obviously, because it's the 31st. So we just want to say thank you for all the love in January, and we're going to keep healing it the rest of the year. This video gets a little bit more behind the scenes in the store, how we do our inventory process, and kind of how we manage everything inside the store. So it's pretty cool. Got some unboxings for you guys, and then a little cash out at the end. So we hope you guys enjoy this video, and without further ado, is where we leave it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a whole lot of boxes here to unbox. We're going to have Brandon do them. But real quick, I got to tell you guys this before we get into it. We started something on our Common Hype Instagram page. If you guys don't follow it, I'll leave the at right here under the screen. But we started something called CH Fit Check. So it allows you guys to post your fit checks every week. And then every week following that, we're going to repost um, our top 10 favorite fits of the week. Um, and we forgot to promo in the videos this week, although we did three already. But this is Monday's video and we're gonna be doing it um, continuously throughout for however long. But again, post your fit pick, tag common hype, and use the hashtag CHFitCheck for a chance to have your fit reposted on our feed um, every week. So we had a bunch of submissions this first week, but we haven't given you guys the opportunity or told you guys about it yet. So I just want to remind you guys, tag us in your fit checks. I want to see the hardest fits out there. All right. Something like this. Fit check me real quick, B. Got the guavas on today, some Carhartt vintage pants, and then the FKA hoodie from this video, actually, which we unboxed earlier um, yesterday, I think. But um, something like this. Post it. Steven's going to be ready. Look at Steve over there. Ready to go. Yeah, I'm a 90s baby. Lately, I've been going crazy. I've been going crazy lately. I've been going crazy, crazy. You guys saw on Wednesday's or Friday's video, uh, we, we told Steve to pull out the uh, the face mask. Shout out to Bound by Soul. You want to fit check him, Steve, while we're here? Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Just picked these up from Bri the other day. So tough. Forgot my pants today, though. Yeah, no pants. Essentials tea. Uh-huh. Found by Soul Balaclava. Yeah. I learned how to say it this time. Get him, Nate. Common Hype Hat, Warren Lotus Tea, Bravest Studios, and the uh, White Air Forces. Tommy? Yes, sir. <laughs> Get out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a 90s baby. Lately, I've been going crazy. I've been going crazy lately. I've been going crazy. Kill the Hype, Found by Soul, More Heat. Common hype. You came brick today, dude. Yeah, what about Brandon? I just don't care, you know? Supreme track pants, revenge storms, some tea I just found in my closet. We have Nate in the building. Nate's been gone for two and a half months. He's finally back here. Uh, you guys love the legit checking segment, so we're gonna do another one. Again, process. Uh, you guys send us packages. Wondering how can you sell to us? Pin comment down below. We'll have the Discord link that you guys can sell to us. Uh, we check them in. You guys send us uh, the invoice and we pay you out once Nate legit checks them all in. And Nate's gonna give you a little legit check on how to check some shoes. But let's start off with, uh, we did ones, we did dunks, but we haven't done cool grays yet. So Nate, why don't you give him a little cool gray segment, huh? So the first thing I usually do with the cool grays is give them a smell. Um, these have like a really distinct smell. It's hard to explain, but if you have a pair, you'll know what I'm talking about. So the first thing you do is you give them a whiff. They smell good. <laughs> Take a look at the jump man. Make sure he's not, you know, doing a layup, doing a layup. shooting a three or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Obviously, you black light the shoe. You want to make sure that certain things are supposed to light up. Um, if the stitching is lighting up right here, that's not good. You check the glue right here. That's pretty normal. You can see the way the black light hits this um, carbon fiber right here. You can also do the scratch test. It's kind of something you have to learn over time. It's not something that you can just pick up. But if you do it enough, you'll know. Check um how visible the jump man is you don't it doesn't you don't want to be able to see it super easily it kind of has to be um you know faded and then the 23 on the back just make sure it's positioned halfway down and then um just make sure that that's not a full uh circle it kind of has to come down cut across and then come up and then one more thing you can just kind of check right here you check the font and then the jump man once again you always want to take a look at shoe tree make sure it says molded sock liner and then the last step is obviously the size tag um, just make sure the fonts not all goofy and yeah that's about it i'll tell you what though the quality on the red thunder fours is just so bad 
that every pair looks fake. Oh, you know, dude, the especially on grade school pairs, I don't. Even, they are so bad. It's dude. so bad. It there's is the blue, worst quality in a Jordan I've seen. The glue, in a long there's time. been a lot of people who've been complaining a ton about it as well. So, well, thanks for the sticker. I appreciate it. And the note: the Seahawks should have run the ball. <laughs> Enjoy the Supreme sticker. Put it on Drew's forehead. Oh, this guy had a lot to say. Uh, so in this package we've got, speaking of Red Thunders, we've got Red Thunders, um, and then we got some Red Toe Lows as well. Um, red Toes, good shoe. Okay. Then speaking of Red Thunders, I want to see if there's actually flaws on these. Uh, well, to start, yeah, I mean, suede's all dusty right there. Could be just from the box paper, so not a huge deal. Um, I don't think it's. Uh, a lot on the men's pairs personally that I've seen, but on the grade school pairs of these, uh, quality control is really bad. Like you can see it right here. You see how the glue is going across the midsole right there and it's kind of going over the midsole. Um, that's just quality control from Nike. Um, again, it's really kind of there on the front of the toe box right there. So, I mean, just not terrible quality control on the men's, but the GS are really bad. I don't even know how. Those almost look used too. They're like kind of like they look like dirty, like the suede. Yeah, weird. that's what I'm saying. But it's well, it's from the paper. I know that for it's a fact. Just, it's, just, it's just yeah. The thing is, is like Nike's increasing their retail price this year on basically all their shoes, which is fine. I get it. But the issue is, is that if the quality is going backwards. Right. You can't you can't raise the retail price just because things are reselling but then have the quality control go down. And I understand that they're having uh, supply chain issues and everything, especially with the amount of fakes that are going around. Like it just, it makes it difficult um, for us to be able to check it. And you know, the average person who's just buying the shoes um, and they are getting scammed, um, they just, they're not gonna have any idea. A couple pairs of white smoke grays. You guys know I really love this shoe. Um, this is a great mid, great neutral colored mid. So these sell really well for us in store. Next up we have a package and uh, we got a couple um, overseas packages today. This one specifically is from Dutchland. In this package we have a pack of Jordan 1 Low Wolf Gray Lows, a big pack of grade school panda so again we do get a lot of our inventory overseas there's a bunch of retail drops that happen from um, our sellers over in turkey uh, hungary and germany japan china i mean they all have nike.com too it's just in their language so we buy a lot of pairs off people who have for retail over there it makes it a lot of fun to buy from them their language is funny too when they actually actually message us and they're trying to talk English, it's like you can see the language barrier, which is which I think is, is pretty cool because um, they'll also say stuff in their language and I have no idea what they're talking about. But I must say their English is pretty good. Moving on, we have a couple pair of women's black and white dunks. Um, again, these restocked heavily on Nike. You guys know we had to capitalize on that. Also included, included some Apple Jack, so thank you for that. And no invoice in this, but uh, shout out to that person who sent those. Next up, we have another overseas package. Picked up some more cool grays. Again, cool grays, they release in other countries it's not just the u.s um, so if you guys have connections over there um even mexico adidas mexico nike mexico and a lot of them come with this, like these foreign um upc see it on the other side too yeah right there too um so I, I think that's just a retail tags over there um, i'm not entirely sure but you'll notice overseas pairs um they're not gonna have a retail tag right here u.s pairs if you guys pay any attention they'll have a suggested retail price right here on overseas pairs they don't actually have the suggested retail price so if you don't know now you know in this one we have a few pairs of slides it looks like so we've got two pairs of ochre slides and a supreme air force one as well so um, shout out to this person who sent these regular air force one prices increased uh, to 100 retail as a lot of you guys know so i think a lot of consumers are saying if i can just get the supreme stamp for another extra 40 to 50 bucks or just go ahead and pay the money at this point so supreme air forces are really really popular for us in store uh two more boxes to go let's see what we got yo on discord we have a jordan one mid bry thank you so much for making this deal hope to continue to continue business this has been our fourth deal and i really enjoy the smooth process please talk about uh your sneaker reselling before the store hope you enjoy the candy and thanks again uh, looks like he did send some candy. Let's see what he said. Uh, but we do have, these are interesting. So these are the Jordan 1 Mid Tangum, I think is what they're called. Um, so not a bad shoe right there. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to the unboxing. You guys want to know what happens in the day of life of a sneaker store owner? This is what happens. Got all the boys here. And right now we just basically redid all of our inventory. Uh, we essentially wanted it to make it since we're in such an enclosed space and we only have 1400 square feet here at 400 square feet in our storage room. We can't really fit all of this stuff back in the storage um, space of our store now. So just for an example, these are all black and white dunks. And what we're doing is, is Tommy and I've decided we only want two of each 
shoe in each size at the store. So as you guys can see, this is like, I don't know, 70 pairs of black and white dunks. Um, we only want two of each size here. The rest of the pairs we are going to bring to our warehouse and kind of just keep them there. Uh, maybe wholesale them, do whatever we want with them. We just really do not have the capacity right now to hold all these black and white dunks. And that's just black and white dunks. We have golden reds right here, Georgetown's right there, uh, championship reds, Bordeaux dunks, which there's like another 50 pairs in the unit right now, Arkeo pinks, and then these are just a bunch of one-off dunks that uh, you'll see in the case or whatever. So again, just dunks. We already did Jordans earlier this week. We did slides earlier this week. We did uh, Chloe's. Chloe's. Chloe's, Jordan 1 lows. Uh, Yeezys. Foam runners. Oh, yeah, this has been everything. <laughs> yes. Close. But a complete inventory rehaul, essentially. And what happened was, is we were trying to export our inventory from Shopify and our entire website got wiped. So if you guys have looked on the website and you're like, why do these guys have no shoes? It's because we had to manually go back and re-upload every single product. And when Drew did that, when the store opened, Drew, how long did that take you? Like two weeks, dude, forever. And it was a process before the store opened. And that's when we only had like 200 grand worth of inventory. Now we've built our inventory up to like 500 grand. Uh, so something you guys may not know, 2020, when we first opened the store, we had about 200 grand worth of inventory when we first opened. 2021, fast forward a year and a half, uh, which we're now in 2022. So I guess fast forward almost two years now and we have 500,000 worth of inventory. So a lot of growth in the company. Steve's like, holy cow, it's a, it's a lot, but uh, lots of fun stuff. So anyways, we're trying to get organized right now, um, but we'll see you guys in the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in the middle of the desert. Me and Drew came out here to do some fit picks, but as I was walking out the house, I got a little package. Just based on the brand, I figured what a sick spot to do a little unboxing out here in the middle of nowhere. But we got a pack from our family over at Effin. Shout out to our people over there at Effin. Thanks for always showing love, bro. Appreciate you and the fam. Here's some Kiwi treats from me and why. So shout out to our family over at Effin. They sent us some, uh, some little snacks. Let us know if you guys have ever had them. But uh, they did a little drop a couple weeks ago and we always show love. They've sent us some stuff in the past, um, but we always like supporting. We don't ask for anything for free. Um, so we wanted to go show love to our boys at Effin. Me and Drew each got one of their uh, little black hats right here. And then I picked up this one. Love this one. Just creative people over there, man. I follow their whole team on Instagram. They're always doing some crazy stuff. So we really appreciate you guys going out of the way. Um, the one thing I actually didn't pay for that they know I love because I always got my Effin sunglasses on me. Um, they actually sent me the new pair of Effin sunglasses. So I have to get a little fit pick in these, but uh, let's see how they look. It's a little windy. Yeah, it's probably really windy. Give the weather report right yeah, here. Yeah, the weather report. <laughs> the new uh effing sunglasses right here some clean some nice see now i can see yeah. guys, how they look you look like you're from men in black and then i also picked up oh you they went dropped a pair of cargo pants um it looks like a fresh design like they did it from scratch and all, i'm all about um supporting the creative vision right here so um, i'm gonna wear them not today but i'll throw them on at some point and i'll let you guys know when i do probably take a fit pick on the ig but uh me and Drew, we're gonna take some fit picks real quick. I just wanted to show the little unboxing and uh, thank you to our family over there at F and we hope you guys are doing all right and staying safe and uh, we really appreciate it. These are all used, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Those ones. Why are you selling the collection? I mean, I'm just trying to get some cash or some other shoes that I'm more interested in. Like I figured I'd, or at least when I bought these, I thought I'd wear them a lot more, but. It just happened so far? Yeah, just the work from home lifestyle. Yeah, like, I you know, end up putting like a lot of fits together. Um, How much on the Starfish? Women's 12. Yeah. So 10 and so, a half men. I was thinking like 140. Um, Cause they've been selling for like 230, 240, like brand new, which, but I mean, they're in great condition. Yeah, 140 square. That's cool. These are the threes? Yeah. Boxes tape, but they're in really good condition. I was thinking 180. Um, I could take these. It's not gonna be a great offer just because they're releasing later this year. Um, and then I this is hard to get out. Yeah. Um, and I don't think I'll be able to get it out. I offer you, but it's not good. Yeah. What are we looking at? Like a hundred bucks for them. Hundred bucks. Yeah. Um, yeah, I might hold off on those. I would too. That's just <laughs> a tough. Um, no worries. Cobalt. Yeah. Uh, they got original. Laces? No, those are. Laces, right? Yeah, but they comes with the, those original laces. How much are you looking for on these? One thirty. Um, if you could do an uh, even hundred, I would take them. Yeah, that's a maybe. Okay. Same thing. I have the original laces, but I wanted to throw some brown ones gotcha. on. Gotcha. I thought it would look better. 
How much are these? 190. These I'd have to be at uh, 170. Yeah, I could do 170. Okay. Do you guys want me to swap the laces and stuff for you? I don't know. These, nice gem here. He was the guy yeah. that he, he grabbed them. I did pick oh, those did? up, yeah. and I mean, dude, yeah, I have I'm a more monster over than you. Gosh, these are good, Bry. Yeah. These are real good, and they're your size, Bry. It's crazy. Just saying. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Anyways, how much on these? I don't even know what these go for anymore. They're still around the like 600 range, like brand new. Um, so I was thinking like 340, maybe. I do an even three. I might keep that as a maybe too. Okay. All right. So, so these two are for sure. Um, okay. So 170, and then we said five on the mochas. Um, we, no, those are the starfish. Yeah, starfish. Um, so 140, and then 170. These three, um, these even 100. Um, and then the mochas, I would do. Uh, I would do five. You do five. Yeah. You said 100, right? Yes. It's just that yeah, colorway. I know. I'm surprised they, like, when I, f I actually hit these for retail, I've got to warm them a lot. So, yeah, I'll do 100. Okay. Three, right? So, 100? Probably be stuck at 340 on those. These? Definitely, yeah, 500. Okay. I'm cool with that. 340. Oh, can you meet me in the middle of 320? Uh, honestly, I wasn't even dead set on, like, getting rid of these. That's why I'm, like, probably going to just stay at 340. These are nice. I know. All right. What do we think? Hey, hello. Hold on, hold on. Let me phone a friend. Yeah. Bryson. Get in the call. Yeah, yeah. Hello. hello. Let me see. I do it. All right. We are, we're already this far. Uh, and this camera's getting heavy, so make up your mind. And it's his size. <laughs> yeah, he need one. All right. Three forty. Okay. Twelve fifty. That puts us at. Twelve fifty. Good. Dope. Yeah. I would not give you more than hundred bucks for those. I know. I know. <laughs> That's. Tough. I'm just gonna be honest. With you. <laughs> so twelve fifty. Am I sending you thirteen fifty? Mm, yeah, let's just do it. I'm not even gonna waste my time on this thing. I'm so. gonna sell those for. Well, Somebody will get a steal. For Sixty. Us. Somebody gets a steal. Listen, if we get a steal, okay. you get a steal. There you go. And then if you want to paint the yellowing, be my guest. Commonhypeasy.com, but we don't sell use on the on the website. We only sell it on the story. So at commonhypeasy.